This is the new Mercedes Actros L and it is the most luxurious truck in the world. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through the cabin to explain why it is just so posh for a truck. I'm also going to talk you through the updates Mercedes has made to its biggest, baddest truck. And believe it or not, I'm going to drive it, brake test it. I'm even going to launch it over the stunning quarter mile. Anyway, I'm Matt Watson and you're watching CarWow. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car Wow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Mercedes first introduced this generation of Actros back in 2011, and in 2019, they made quite a few visual changes. However, there are a few external differences to that truck for this very latest version, though you have to be an absolute mother trucker to spot them. I'll point them out now. They are LED headlights, which apparently help save fuel and we now have a smoked effect for the Actros badging. The big changes though for this generation of truck are on the inside. So I'm just going to climb aboard and go and have a look around them. Oh, actually you can't get in that way. Oh, I think this is definitely a better way to get in. <laughs> oh my God, it's high, <laughs> this is. Right, I'll shut this door without falling out. This is a bit luxurious for an HGV, isn't it? It's very car-like in here. I've got digital driver's display. I've got an infotainment system like in a normal Mercedes. I've got snazzy looking trim, leather steering wheel. We even don't have door mirrors. Instead, we've got this big screen here and cameras up there. That's pretty cool. It allows you to see around the truck quite easily. Now, some of the new features on this truck include a new lower seat. Apparently truckers like to sit low so it's a bit more car-like for them. So Mercedes have lowered the seat. They've also given it some new seat trims which are more luxurious. But if you want it higher you can of course raise it up and you have suspension in your seat. Like, wow, that's a bit too high. I want to go lower. Let's go lower. Oh sorry I knew I shouldn't have had curry last night. Bit stinky. Another thing Mercedes has done to this truck is improved the sound insulation so it's quieter when you're driving it. You even get seals on the doors like that. So when you shut the door, it sounds like you're shutting a car door. Listen. Yeah. Posh, eh? There's quite a lot of mod cons in here actually. For instance, I can move the steering wheel up and down and in and out. And I release it using my foot so I can do it easily when I'm driving. We have, of course, got our CB radio there. Though now you're not allowed to hold it and talk anymore, it's illegal. So that is operated all hands-free. Of course, there's so much storage in this thing. So we've got cup holder there, cup holders there, bottle holder there, look at all these drawers down here, look at that. And then up here, we've got some more storage, more storage. There's so much storage. In fact, you can actually option to have a microwave in here. Oh, look at that, it's a mirror. Oh, I know what this is for. You see, Truckers often used to do like the shaving in the door mirrors, but they obviously can't because this doesn't have any, it's got cameras. So Mercedes give you this little mirror here so you can do shaving in it. Lovely. <laughs> oh gosh, I want to show you this as well. Look, we have a table under here so I can fold it out. It's a very sturdy metal table. Quality. <sighs> Also, there's so much space in here, it's not called the Giga Cab for nothing. In fact, there's enough room to have a TV mounted up there so you can watch it in bed or when you're sat here. Ah, I want to show you this. Obviously, you're going to want some chill drinks, aren't you, when you're driving for miles and miles and miles. This thing has a fridge, and it's a big fridge. There's loads of bottles of water in here. Looks like someone has kindly left me a nice bottle of wine, though. I don't think you should really chill red wine. Truckers. You've also got a little table here, look. So you can sit in this other seat, if you haven't got a passenger, and enjoy a snack. Now another feature that is new on this truck is to do with the bed. So look, you can pull the bed down, you press these buttons here and you release it. Oh, there we go, like that. They've added a mattress topper to the already rather comfy memory foam mattress. Just bear with me, I'm gonna hop up here. Where do I do this? Oh, hey! The beauty of this topper is that if you go on holiday, you take this with you. And so if someone borrows your cab and has a bit of an accident, then when you come back, you can put this on top so you don't have to sleep on their jizz stain. Now from up, <laughs> sorry, from up here, you can control different features like the air conditioning, the heating. You can also control the stereo. You can put on 
those surround view cameras as well. So if you hear some noise in the back of your truck and you're not actually human trafficking, you might think that someone's trying to steal your goods. So you press that button, look in the cameras and see if anyone is trying to break in. Also, you can control the lighting. We have ambient lighting. We also have some blinds here, so you can open this roof if you want to. And if you don't want mosquitoes getting in, you can put this mosquito net over or you can just have it nice and dark. Okay, so I don't know how to operate that. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. But what Mercedes have added that's new is this, look. So here's your curtains, which you can use to like stop people looking in when you're having a nap or if you've met someone on Tinder and you want to have a good time, you just pull this over. What Mercedes have done now is added the three-pointed star, so it looks cool. You've also got it on the inside of the curtain as well. Isn't that nice? Right, I've got to get down from here. Uh, uh. Oh, oh. I was going to have an accident. <laughs> now to prevent you having an accident, Mercedes have also updated all the safety systems on this truck. So it has things like pedestrian detection, so it'll auto brake to stop you running over people. It also now has a facility where it'll monitor you as you're driving and it can spot if you're suddenly passed out behind the wheel and will automatically slow the truck and it'll unlock the door so that someone can actually get in and give you emergency help. Now let's talk about power. So this Actros L has a 13 litre straight six turbo diesel engine that pumps out 530 horsepower and 2,600 newton meters of torque. It drives the rear wheels, well, those ones there, <laughs> via a 12 speed automatic gearbox. I'm gonna experience it for myself out on the road. But now we have to decouple the trailer because I can't legally drive it with a trailer attached. Finally, I'm going to drive the Actros L and I'm being accompanied by Dirk from Mercedes Trucks. To keep an eye on me, this is a bit weird. Never driven one of these on the road before, but it's surprisingly easy. Now I've gone about SUVs having a nice elevated driving position. Ain't nothing beating an Actros L for an elevated driving position, apart from maybe a helicopter. It's so high. It also has a very loud indicator <laughs> repeater. Let's do it. It's like someone's knocking on the door to get in. Ooh, do you know what? I'm glad I've not got a trailer because I think I would have just gone over that curb pretty badly <laughs> with a trailer attached. Don't you think, Dirk? Pretty sure. <laughs> Ooh, actually, that's got some punch, that has. Get up to 80 kilometers an hour quite easily. That's your cruising speed. Though, because I've got it in power mode, I can push on to the legal limit, which is 90 kilometers an hour now. I have pretty much hit the limiter. That's it. So now I'm going to drive this for about 500 miles at this speed and that's it. That's basically trucking people. Well, noticing a bit of wind noise from up there. I was going to say the door mirrors, but there aren't any. There's just the door cameras on that. Also, I'm finding these create a bit of a blind spot because they're bigger than your A-pillar. Oh yes, I'm doing some consumer journalism while driving a truck. How am I doing so far? I mean, am I doing all right? Uh, so far, no accidents. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the cruise control on because this thing has auto cruise control. So it'll do that thing where it uses a radar to keep me a safe distance from the car in front, which incidentally is a Mercedes Maybach GLS. If you want to see my full in-depth video review of that, click on the pop-out banner up there. Also, this truck has auto steer, so now it's keeping me in lane. Oh, you can really feel it steering. Now, Doug, there's something I want to do, and I'm probably not really allowed to, but I'm going to just go and do it anyway, and it's this. Sorry. You have Sorry. This is something everybody dreams about. Sorry, just one more. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> it sounds like a ship. <laughs> yeah, it is a land ship. Maybe we should accelerate a little bit. Let's go for it. We're on the autobahn. I'm just going to pull out here. Yeah, we've got the power. We've got the Actros power. I'm going to overtake this guy. You're getting overtaken. Because I've not got a load on the back, it overtook pretty quickly. I'm using my digital mirrors now to see exactly where the guy is and that's all good. Plenty of room. Your side guard assist would have warned you if you were still too close to him. Do you know which is the most powerful thing in the truck? My brain. After your brain, yes. My farts. The component that is the most powerful in the truck is the brakes. Well, I'm not going to brake suddenly because there's a whole load of cars behind me. But the brakes, actually, to slow the truck down, it's quite easy to judge it considering I've never really driven one on the road before. 
Now this would be fun if I had the trailer attached. Let's check out the acceleration out of the corners. Here we go, come on. You looked a bit worried there, Dirk. <laughs> you had to readjust your position. Up to now I'm smiling. <laughs> It actually goes around corners pretty well. It doesn't lean much. Well, the center of gravity is very low. The acceleration's pretty decent, you know. If I accelerate, it's only kicked down to 11th gear. Yeah, that's enough if you have so much torque. There is loads of torque in this. Well, no, ah, there you uh -huh. go. That's a safety system. Yeah. That's, that's good. A, that's a side guard assist. What Does do that work to detect cyclists as well? Yes. It's the only system you can get in a truck that will break the truck to a standstill before hitting a, a cyclist. Right, that's good news because I'm a cyclist and that does always scare me a little bit. Oh, that's me weaving across the lanes, isn't it? Yeah. Did you feel it wanted to bring you back to the center of the lane? Didn't notice that if I'm being brutally honest. Oh, weavy. Oh yeah, it's steering. Yeah, and it's you're coming back to the good way. That is the good way. I like the good way. I've jumped out of the diesel-powered Actros L and now I'm in a prototype hydrogen-powered Actros. This is the Actros of the future. Now the story about this is the fact that it has more power. It's got almost a thousand horsepower and 4,000 newton meters of torque. I want to check out the performance. You see we're fully loaded. This thing with the trailer, we're talking 40 tons but I'm going to launch it. Well, I'm not going to launch it. Roland over here from Mercedes is going to launch it because he's allowed to drive it and I'm not. But I'm going to time his launch using my specialist timing gear just there. So go on, Roland, hit it. Let's see how quick this truck is from naught to 80 kilometers an hour. So it's not massively rapid, Roland, but is this quicker than if it was a diesel Actros? Yes. Okay, so let's see what it takes to get to 80. Come on, we're climbing, we're climbing. 70 kilometers, it's exciting. Here comes the 80. Now, 26.9 seconds and then 28 seconds for the standing quarter mile immediately afterwards. And relatively silent, no diesel engine going. Another beauty of this truck is, of course, emissions. The only emissions are H2O, so that's really good. And the range is good as well, much better than if it was electric. So this can do up to a thousand kilometers on a full tank of hydrogen, and it'll only take you 10 minutes to fill it up with hydrogen. So that's really impressive. What I want to check though, because you know, this is car and we like to do it. I want to do a brake test, Roland. Can we do a brake test? Yes, we do. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see how quick this truck can stop from 80 kilometers. I'm a bit nervous about this, but anyway, let's do it now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at all the tire smoke. That is insane. It stopped from 80 kilometers in 33 meters. So that's a safe truck and it's an environmentally friendly truck and it is the truck of the future. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know some other videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Click on the windows for more videos. And on the box, they go to Carway to see how much money you can save on a new car. Not a new truck, I'm afraid. Not yet, anyway. Thanks for watching.